You know, the way you handle things, not bad, not bad. I just wanted to say thanks for the daring rescue back there. I had plans for Matsura, of course, but I appreciate the backup. Oh, I would have given them an exhaustive series of lectures on aneutronic fusion until they were either delirious or they became my new students, obviously. It's good to be part of a team, isn't it? To be part of something so much bigger than any one of us. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. That's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. Exactly as often as I need to. Jams are just sticky successes, right? At first it seems annoying, but it eventually washes off. Uh, just wait till we get matching shirts and start having official cookie days. They're one of humanity's greatest achievements. Modern medicine, space travel, and cookies. Constellation is quite pro-cookie. Because, you see, we value human accomplishments. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. A long time. We should talk about it someday. I'd need to get some tea going for that chat, though. Just figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know, being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities, and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him. I suppose. Irvin Madani was my husband. He was also a brilliant biologist who joined Constellation a couple of years before me. Yeah, so he's gone now. <laughs> I... I remember his bright smiles when I returned from my trips. <laughs> wow. More brilliant than any star? It's not you, Captain. It's just been on my mind. I can't say why. Urban's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. Well? I'm enjoying my time adventuring with you, and it reminds me of Irvin in a way. We had so many adventures together, and then it suddenly stopped. Maybe part of my mind is trying to remind me of that. Oh, I've been giving myself nothing but space and time <laughs> for years. But maybe it's time for me to really think about it. Well, maybe I'll take you up on that offer later on, Captain. I need some time to think about things. On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. Don't you remember? Feel free you to told help yourself at the your bar. Treat. I don't drink. But I didn't have but to pay you back. I feel like if I did, all right, that would be a you good got time me. for one. I'll scrape something together for you. Next week, maybe. Free Star Rangers. You did their dirty work and then some. So how'd you feel wearing the badge? Well, good on you. It takes a certain type of person to thrive there. 
Me, I never cared much for being a ranger. Too many of them try to force the world to be only black and white when it's anything but. Take Ron Hope. I mean, the guy's a legend. Before him, Polvo was a desperate, depressing place. Everything he did was to keep his people employed, to keep Hope Tech standing in the backstabbing world of megacorp politics. He's one of the great Freestar Collective success stories. So, yeah, I might be a fan. Tough call on what to do with Ron Hope. Taking his hush money wouldn't have sat right with me. But I wonder what's gonna happen to Hope Town without him. Fingers crossed. As much fun as it is being a ranger, I hope you can start focusing on constellation business. There's plenty of mysteries left in the good old Milky Way to discover. Do you got time for a quick chat? I'd appreciate it when you're able. <sighs> Where to begin? That temple? The hell was that? I've been from one end of the settle systems to the other more times than I could count. But I've never, and I mean never, encountered something like that. I mean, who built it? Why? So many questions. I think that just means you're sane. And what you can do? I am not a scientist, not in the least. But that ability, power, it's just plain scientifically impossible. Then who is capable of something like that? Well, forget about me, how are you? I mean, whatever happened, it could have deep physiological effects. I hope not mental. And even if everything's perfect, there... Still, I can't imagine what's going through your head. <laughs> you. <laughs> Same old you. The other Constellation members are gonna lose their minds once they hear about this. Assuming they even believe us.
The Freestone Rangers. So how'd you feel wearing them? Well, good on you. Me, I know too many of them try to fool. Take Ron home. Everything he did. He's one of the great free... Tough column. Taking his hush money. But I wonder what's gonna happen. Fingers crossed. As much fun as... There's plenty of mysteries left. <sighs> I've been from one end of the set, but I've never... I mean, who built it? I think that just me and what you can do, but... Then who is Kate? Forget about me. I mean, whatever happened, and even if everything's perfect... <laughs> the other constantly assuming they have
just glad you didn't eat it. Because the bounty on your head gets bigger the longer you live. So we just want to make sure it stays that way. We're way different. We got actual ambition. So, you keep that pretty little mug of yours alive until it's enough for us to retire, okay? Be seeing ya. Plenty here to catalog. As you can see, Vladimir's time with the Crimson Fleet proved to be quite lucrative. One can only hope he's left that way of life behind.
idea that Vladimir's paranoia would amount to surrounding himself with all of this monitoring equipment. Thank you. 